Hello friends, welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Today IT Smart Training show you how to change OWA Outlook Web Access Login to username only in Exchange Server 2019. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Let's start the lab. So in Exchange Server 2019, by default, the logon option of OWA Outlook Web Access are domain slash username. Suppose I have a domain name that is uh, smartlab.com and the username is e1. So I have to log in with the smartlab slash e1. So sometimes clients require to log in OWA with just a username only. This is useful if you are set into a single domain environment. If you have multi-domain environment, so this single user logon is not possible. So let's start the video. This is my Exchange Server admin console. So I have to go to the servers. There is an option virtual directory. Under the virtual directory, there is an option OWA. Just double click on the OWA. Under OWA, there you can find the authentications. See, by default, the username, domain slash username is showing. You can also use the user principal name also. Suppose my domain name is smartlab.com, you can use u1 at the rate of smartlab.com. So now I choose domain uh, uh, username only. So browse. If I have multiple domain, which domain uh, I want to log in, you just choose the domain and save done so now I have to restart some IIS service to get effect Go to exchange server, paste it, it will stop the services, then I have to start the service. Go to run and paste, start the service done just refresh it once after refresh I just open the outlook web access this is my outlook web access now I log in only the username e1 and provide the password If my configuration is correct, then you can see my Outlook will open with the username. No need to provide any domain suffix. See my user one is opening their mailbox see my user one is logged in okay so this is how we can create this from GUI now I show you how to do this same configuration in CUI mode so at first I go to go here and change it to the previous configuration done 
now I run the same command once again successfully then I start the service start it I just refresh the virtual directory once so my configuration is go to the previous okay now I will do same thing in the PowerShell so at first I if I uh, want to know how many virtual directories have configured in my exchange server so we can see so it will be only possible to the exchange server powerful tool that is a PowerShell we we'll just open the PowerShell paste the command get owa virtual directory so this is my virtual directory the directory name is owa default website now I have to set virtual directory owa owa direct default website logon format user name default domain is smartlab.com okay I just copy it and paste it here enter so I have to run the command to restart I'm trying this command to check it will restart or not otherwise we have to put the command which is shown in the box Yeah, this command will also work otherwise net space stop was slash y to start w3svc so restart failed the service did not respond the start control request timely fashions no this command is not work because these are for exchange server 2013 it's already stopped but it not started
so service will start okay now I just checked it will change by console or not we did the command successfully executed now I have to check that the executed command will reflect in GUI not if it is reflect in GUI then our uh, lab is successful now I checked OWA default website go to authentication yes this is changed okay so this is how we can configure the only user account login for OWA if you like my videos and if the video is informative please subscribe my channel and share my videos thank you